Ladies and gentlemen, Hebrews to Negroes, Wake Up Black America is selling very well right now. It's spiking up in sales on Amazon. But you can't expect that because they've kept it alive in the media. Now, they're trying to blame Kyrie, but Kyrie has not been in the media talking about this every day. They certainly have been. And the more they keep getting on the soapbox saying anti-Semitic, anti-Semitic, is now piquing people's curiosity. And people that may not have even thought about us being the real Hebrews are now going out there to find out what's going on. So, look, Ronald Dalton, ladies and gentlemen, made this production at his house. And he spent $8,000 to do this documentary. That was the case until recently when Kyrie went out there and he searched for it one evening and he posted it. And they're calling it promotion. But see, what I'm calling what the mainstream news is doing is promoting and giving it free advertising. That's what the media is doing, is giving it free advertising every day that you keep this in the media. Again, you could have avoided all of this if you would have been a lot more professional and took this behind the scenes, but we know you're not about to do that under any circumstance with a black man. So, ladies and gentlemen, now they're saying uh, the service algorithm offer up theories. Now, it's not theories. A lot of it was heavily researched and he did a lot of research, in fact, before putting this whole thing out. But, you know, it, it, you know they're going to do everything they can to make it seem like you shouldn't even pay attention to this. Well, whether you like it or not, it's getting a lot of attention now. The book and the film is. It's getting a lot of attention. And, you know, some people seem to think if they can try to get this taken down, how is that going to make a difference when so many people got it? And people are going to spread it among themselves. I've even seen, you know, people writing, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to share this with my family. I've seen that a lot. Oh, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to share it with uh, a few of my family members that live somewhere else. So as long as people can pass it along, it will always be out here, whether you like it or not. So it's on the Amazon public platform, whether you want to watch it or you just want to rent it. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, the interesting thing, they are searching not only the title of the movie, but they are putting in the name of the Most High. Yahweh, Yahweh, <laughs> uh, Yahweh. So they said people are literally putting these terms in to search for it. You know, we know people are using different names. So... Amazon has provided a large distribution platform for the movie with modest origins. And Mr. Irving, um, you know, they're trying to say he skyrocketed the movie. I'm telling you, the media did it. And the thing is, you don't realize the more you keep trashing it and trying to debunk it, the more people are going to run to it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that along with Kanye West's recent remarks about Blacks in America being the real Hebrews, you know, of course, they claim that was anti-Semitic. And on Friday, the audiobook version of Hebrews to Negroes made the top-selling title 
on Amazon's Christian Living category. The used hardcover copies with 712 pages of the book were selling through the roof for more than $50, and the movie Rental has also been up for $12 out on Amazon. The whole world is watching. Yes, the whole world is watching. And and y'all, I think this is the way our Heavenly Father wanted it. I do. You know, if we were talking about this on our individual channels, it would nowhere near get the kind of traction that it would if a public figure says something, somebody a lot more well-known than the average YouTube creator, it's going to get traction. So, I mean, some people think, oh, well, you know, that's an athlete. Well, the most high is going to use an athlete. He may use a music artist. He can use anybody he wants to shine attention on this topic. And I think that is exactly what's happening. So it's popularity skyrocketing, leading Jewish organizations worry that the movie recommendation alongside with Kanye's remarks will, um, you know, it, it will present another example of uh, what they call anti-Semitic and we are Shemitic people, can't be anti-Semitic, uh, we would be against ourselves. Of course, through a mainstream popular culture. So, ladies and gentlemen, we know um, Kyrie, he met with Adam Silver yesterday. They claim it was a productive meeting. I don't know what he has agreed to behind the scenes, but they did meet. And I don't know if they're just putting stuff in the media or, you know, it was not a good meeting at all. You never know. It's not like we get the truth from these folks. So we know since all this unfolded, he's been suspended without pay. And he's been on mainstream news, you know, not news, but um, media talking. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to play this video of Kyrie and I will be right back. we do i'm not putting my kids through the system that's designed to distract and demean and destroy character based on race culture class i'm a native and i'm a black man or african man i had to identify that because that's what was given to me in this euro centralized society i had to identify as a race i had to identify as a culture i have to identify what my religion is but the reason why i'm speaking like this is because to my generation and to the older generation we can't have this. That's enough talking. We can't have this. Mm -mm. And I'm I'm called crazy trying to grow up in this Eurocentric society or this society that holds white supremacy over the top of everything, which was created by them. I never created it. How how can how can I be sane in a society that calls me crazy for tr trying to live a moral just life a principle led life i didn't grow up seeing color i didn't grow up seeing you know religion and culture bro it was taught to me it was taught to me i grew up in school with this stuff i had experiences we have to reclaim a few things we have to eat well that doesn't mean just going vegan we have to eat well you have to eat well. You have to treat your body right. You have to treat your mind right. You have to know what you're putting in here. You have to let go of things. You know what I'm saying? You like, I'll give you an example. I had to let go of seeing my ancestors buried in places that have been covered up by lakes. I had to go see, I had to go see museums with nooses around my ancestors' necks. I had to go see lawmakers that are still living today that put a lot of my family members in bondage or in prison 
or oppress them in some type of way. I had to go see that and I had to let go of that energy, that hateful energy that I had in order to move on in this world to talk openly. Because if I didn't let it go, I would have been walking around as what? The angry black man. Okay. You know, I agree with a lot of things he say. You know, a lot of us are doing a better job looking out for our children and the things they are exposed to, especially if you're homeschooling, which a lot of our people are now turning to these days because they realize the damage that are being done by these Karen and Darren teachers within the classrooms that are not there to really teach your children, but to indoctrinate them to accept this effed up society that they have thrown together. And he's right. You got to protect your children. I mean, Kyrie is a grown man and look at what they're doing to him a lot. This is just straight up racism. As long as you don't see them tearing down these white supremacists that are talking bad about them in the same manner, this is racism. It is straight up racism. Plain and simple, it is. Yeah, you know, you they don't buck break a white male, but they'll certainly do it to a black male. And until I see you put people as pale as you on the world stage to do all this apologizing and going to this sensitivity class and going to that sensitivity class and talking to the ADL, this is racism. So Amazon gave a global research to Hebrews to Negroes and said Mr. Dalton's movie was edited by using at-home software, scored with copyright-free music, and featured stock footage of locations that Mr. Dalton could not visit. And he said, it's so easy to make a movie nowadays. And he's right. It is a lot easier to do it, you know, with the production cost of doing filmmaking and getting professionals in to help you do it. That's astronomical. But if you're skilled enough to use the software and you can do this yourself, then that's a beautiful thing. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video and tell me what you think about what Kyrie said as well. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.